Okay, we're going to take a look at creating an HTML widget um, by simply taking an iframe or an embed code and copying and pasting it into a main HTML file. So that sounds really complicated, but it's really pretty simple. All the videos so far that we've viewed in our iBooks author um, book here is has been streamed media from YouTube. And the way we've done that is we've taken a YouTube and we've gone down here to the share column and we've grabbed the embed code. So you'll notice that this embed code starts off with iframe and then it talks about the, the dimensions of that frame and what it's going to stream into that frame. And so there's a lots of different web tools and web pages out there that have these iframe codes uh, or these embed codes. And we're going to show you how to create a widget that will take that code and um, simply stream this media, this video, into your book. So uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is go and download a blank copy of this widget. So if you type in bit.ly forward slash blank widget, it's going to bring you to a file that you can download. So simply download that and you'll be able to find that over there in your downloads. Uh, and you can open that up and you can find that in your finder most likely. Let's go to my finder here and uh, there we go there's my blank copy I'm simply just gonna drag that up to my desktop so we can look at it there so uh, I actually have a couple of different blank copy widgets here and uh, I'm just going to right click on the one that I just downloaded and I just want to show you that what's inside of a blank uh, widget so there's just three files a default PNG which is an image file and this is going to be the image that appears uh, on your widget in your book info.plist is nothing that we're gonna have to worry about and the main HTML is going to be where we're going to copy and paste that iframe code into. So let's just start with our default PNG. We're going to change that by getting rid of this one. And I've created all my default PNGs using Sketch. So uh, I'm going to open up my Sketch here. And you'll notice that the, here's my, my picture. I just took a screenshot of my desktop. I've added some text in here. And I've renamed it as default. And I've set it as a type file of a PNG. So notice I could change all those different files, but I'm going to keep it as PNG because that's what kind of file I need it to be. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm simply just going to drag it back into um, my file, and I'm going to make sure it's named default and not default-1. So default.png, I just renamed that, and now I'm just going to move it here and select off of that. So let's go and edit our main HTML. So again, I'm going to command-click or right-click, and I'm going to choose to open this file up with an HTML text editor. And I have a couple of different choices here. I have Sublime Text 2 and I have TextMate. So either one you can choose. And when you open that up, you're going to see a little HTML code. Don't be scared by this. Um, we're simply going to copy and paste the iframe down here on line 8 between where it says center and forward slash center. So now I need to head over to my movie here in YouTube. And I'm just going to grab, oh, I don't know, Let's go to my channel and actually let's go to the Bookery channel and let's take their um, Showcase 10 iBook Author Widgets, which is a really cool video we're going to feature in this book. And I'm just going to grab this share code and I'm going to go down here to the embed and I'm going to command C to copy and I'm going to head back over to my Sublime Text Editor and I'm going to hit command V and paste that code in there. Once I've pasted it in, I can close it up and hit save and then go back to my finder. So now I have my main HTML that has the iframe in it. I've got a new default PNG and I'm ready to add this to my iBook. One last thing I want to do is I'm just going to change the name of this widget to, um, let's do it as the Bookery Widgets widget. All right, so your widget files, remember, do need to have the .wdgt. I'm simply going to grab that one now, and I'm going to go back into my iBooks author file, and I'm going to drag this over. Oh, let's go over here, and we'll drag it right down and drop it on this page. So now this is a movie, because it's streaming content from YouTube, but it's an HTML widget. So it's not necessarily a movie that's taking up a lot of disk space, 
but this is um, a movie that's streaming this content in to the iBook author. author. So that's all you need to do to create an HTML widget uh, using an iframe, simple cut and paste uh, the iframe code into the main HTML file and change your default PNG picture.